welcome back to the channel, folks. I am the Miso Genius, protecting the men from all the awful ramen. And we got some great news today. We are just about to see the release of Stellar Blade, which will technically be tomorrow, but it will be at midnight. I got my pre-order ready, and I might have a, a break in content for tomorrow while I play it. Uh, I might chitter chatter on Twitter or uh, something else like that. Uh, my information on Twitter will be in the comments. But I'm super excited about this game. A lot of people are super excited about that. I think the reason why people are so excited about the game is it's the first time in a while that someone unapologetically put an attractive woman into a game. And it's a woman that has ass itch. She got some D's on that thing. So people are excited about it, and some people are hating. Some people are like, oh my god, do the guys just want to play the game because of her assets and her features? Yes! Okay? Yes! And the reason why we want that is because they make such a concentrated effort with all the other games because of ESG stuff to make the women unattractive. And it's annoying. And... Regardless of what your opinion is, because a lot of you have your opinions out on the internet, people don't buy those games. What they've seen is that more people are playing games from like 5, 10, 20 years ago than any of the current games because uh, the current games are being developed in a way that doesn't appeal to its largest fan base. Men. Men are the largest fan base. And... What they do is they'll listen to women because women are the drivers of ESG because they're they're the purchasers of consumer goods. So they'll push these ESG um, motivations and they're liberal too, so they'll have liberal ideals. So they'll push these things and then all of the sudden we end up with women looking like the main character of the Fable game that's going to be coming out or uh, Star Wars Outlaws. Like these women are hideous. And they'll go, you're just insecure, you can't still stand having an ugly woman in the game or even having a woman in the game. It's like, I don't want that. And no man does. The numbers are clear. They don't want that. And it, it really, really is a, a battle and kind of a war when it comes to getting an attractive woman into a game. Me personally, I, I'd rather have a male protagonist anyways. Like, my personal experience in gaming is I would rather have the strong, um, very, very muscular, you know, has a really, really big weapon guy uh, in as the main protagonist as a game because I identify that. Now, when we hear everyone on the left or with ESG arguing about inclusivity, they talk a lot about, you know, making sure other people are included in games. And I think that that's perfectly fair, that that's perfectly reasonable, but then you can't portray the, uh, you know, one of the other entities as less than. And they do that with white people, not just in gaming, they do that in, in all of entertainment. And, it, and it's disgusting. And I mean, it, it attacks black men as well. What they are in that essence doing is making a video game that appeals to women, even though those types of games don't even appeal to women in general, they're not real gamers, and then the game ends up being made for no one. If you look at the statistics on women gamers, actually, it, it, it ends up being like a 50-50 or something or other, but here's the thing, they count women that play things like Candy Crush uh, in that demographic. Candy Crush doesn't fucking count, okay? Get the fuck out of here. Candy Crush doesn't count. Get your Candy Crush crap out of here. And women even, you know, they aren't even against this sexuality stuff. It's why they have only fruits. They just hate that when we play a game that has a beautiful woman in it, they're not making $3 a month off of it. For your mom, I, I give your mom $2 a month, but she's a bargain. I'm a bargain shopper when it comes to the only fruits. So, this is kind of just a mini rant today. This this isn't going to be the full length, so we're, we're, we're going to go... We're going to go right through it. Let me see. What else did I want to say about this? So I have the game pre-ordered. I never pre-order a game. And here was the reason why I did is I felt because they had the courage to get uh, a game out there that took some risk with the main character having such of the visibility uh, into her body, which the, the female body is a beautiful thing. Because they took that risk, I felt, you know, hey, I will pre-order it. Let me, let me put the pre-order in and I will play it now. 
Here's what I also want to say as far as my re reviews go, is that that doesn't mean that I'm going to like the game either. I have to play the game first before I decide whether it's good or not. All I can say that I really, really like about the game is the fact that uh, the main female protagonist is super, super attractive. You said, uh, hey, we're not going to adhere to uh, PC culture and we're going to put a, a woman in there, Eve, with really nice features, if you know what I'm like. And I'm playing around with my artwork. Um, uh, I, I do uh, some artwork. I, I train AI models here. So uh, if you want to see some of the artwork that I did for it, you can go to my DeviantArt account where I have uh, Eve from Stellar Blade on it. And I also have an old one where I did a lot with Dragon Ball. So if you like art, check it out. There are some NSFW stuff if you're old enough for it. So what else did I want to get off my chest? Uh, yeah, not much else going on, guys. I just wanted to kind of give this little bit of an update, little bit of a rant. Drop me your insights on Stellar Blade into the comments. I would love to have that. I'll probably use this video uh, as a reference because I probably won't do a whole lot of content for tomorrow because I'll be playing the game. I want to see how it is. I hope it's good, guys. But appreciate you popping in for this mini rant. And I'll be back maybe in the next week to talk about the Fallout show. Hopefully it gets better. Probably not. Thanks for popping in, guys. You have a great day.